All right. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, if you've followed me at all, you know that I'm a pretty big fan of uh, Cyclone 3DR from Leica Geosystems. Uh, and we all know it performs very well with uh, TLSs from Leica and even their, their handheld uh, BLK to go. Uh, but you might not know that it does very well with drone data, too. So the other day, we, we did four flights, um, actually an incredibly dense point cloud. Uh, if you guys have been to the Pacific Northwest, you know that our, our uh, forest is very dense. So we wanted to make sure we got penetration. So we did, uh, with the Recipe uh, X32, we did four different flights. Uh, and out of the spirit of not staying uh, manufacturer specific, I registered those four flights together inside of uh, Ferrocene. Uh, it worked quite well in there too. And then we brought it into 3DR to go ahead and, and play with it, extract the ground and mesh it and stuff. So uh, come along, check it out. All right, so here's the point cloud. Uh, you can't see from this distance, but there's a lot of trees and houses and stuff. Uh, the houses are in red there and the trees are in green. Um, so the first thing I want to do is try and extract the ground. Now this is going to take a few times to get used to because uh, you have to figure out the slope angle. You, uh, generally speaking, you get lucky the first couple of times. This one took uh, a few more than than that. So, uh, try number two, and it's really simple. You just you just change the the slope and hit OK again our preview again and hit the slope, change the slope, hit preview again. So it seems kind of ridiculous and I did speed this up here, but all in all it really doesn't take that long. I think each one of these is around 30 to 40 seconds. So we're on our seventh try and it finally looks good. We got the slope right, got the cloud, the ground cloud separated. All in all, in real time when this was done, there's four minutes and 28 seconds. All right, so now we're gonna go into the meshing program, which is what 3DR originally was. It was originally 3D Reshaper, um, one of the best meshing programs on the, on the market. And it looks like we didn't get quite what we wanted, so there's our try number one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go <coughs> and change the settings again and try a different meshing method. Ah, try number two didn't work well. How about three? Okay, go ahead and try it out. And this one's not sped up at all. And that looks pretty good. Six minutes and 24 seconds real time. Now to make it look even better, we're gonna go ahead and fill all the holes. Real simple tool, you just select the mesh, hit fill tools, or fill holes, select all the holes, and hit review first, just to see how to go, because sometimes wonky stuff happens. I Turned out really well, so I went with it. Hit okay. Now that we have a good high quality mesh, we want to go ahead and extract some contour lines too, so that way we can just send those to CAD and get a very, very tight terrain. Um, now, realistically, I, I might spread these out a little bit further than three feet, but for this one, we tried three feet first, and actually it looks really cool. It just might be a little bit dense for CAD software. And you can kind of see them there in this, this view, but let's go ahead and turn the mesh off and look at that. That is really quick, really well done, and really accurate. And when it's all said and done, it took us 8 minutes and 14 seconds to get through this process in real time without speeding up. Well, there you go, folks. You, uh, if you already have 3DR and you're getting into drones, you might think about just using 3DR for your processing. 
Uh, if you don't have 3DR and you're doing laser scanning of any kind, you should definitely look into it because it is a solid program and they're adding new tools to it all the time. Um, I can't say enough. I, I, I don't know how I could process my data anymore without 3DR. I mean, I know how I could, but like, it makes it so much easier to use 3DR that uh, I don't ever want to go back to the other ways of doing it. Alright guys, till next time.